I did not come to play with you ho. <laughs> I came to slay, bitch. I see it, I want it. I suck yellow, want it. I dream it, I work hard, I grind till I own it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is obviously a continuation of this vlog. I don't even know why I'm introducing this vlog afresh and it's not a new vlog. It's the same vlog. I'm a, actually, this might be a new vlog. So let me go ahead and introduce the vlog. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kimberly. Kindly subscribe and join the family. So today is Saturday. I don't know the date. I'll write it here if I'm able to remember. So today is Saturday. I'm supposed to shoot a collab with Nora. So I'm going to see her right now. I'm going with Absa. So I'm going to see how we're supposed to shoot a video together. It's an assumption about influencers and you guys went off. She asked you guys to give her assumptions about influencers on Instagram and you guys went off but anyway you guys will be able to see that i think i'll shoot a little bit yes but i'll link down the video that we actually shoot together down on this description box if it's actually up by the time i'm editing this vlog but if this is a new vlog this is absolutely my favorite vlog because i'm about to bring you guys into a new chapter of my life this is going to be my favorite 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 vlog i promise you and you guys will be able to see all that because i'm going to take you guys with me so welcome to a new vlog. So as I was saying, I'm supposed to shoot a video with Nora. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to her place. I don't know if it's her place, but she's dropped me up here. So that's where we're heading to. Uh, <laughs> After shooting the video with Nora, I'm supposed to go to Click Launch because Zara is hosting there. You guys will be able to see all that. This is going to be my first time there. Since I was not able to go last week when she was hosting the other Wednesday, I think, because I was working that day, you guys saw I had a shoot bigger. So yeah, so that's the plan for today. I'll explain everything later on i'm so excited i'm so happy i look so beautiful welcome to the vlog i'm usually just i think this is my signature hairstyle love 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 how i look with cornrows so different so cute like it actually it actually brings out my face you get so yeah my uber is here i have to leave a mini big here so let me wear my shoes then going on and my he half coat i top then i'm wearing a sleep skirt then i'm wearing one of my favorite 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 shoes i'm wearing my white converse did you come and shape my high top ones you guys will see what i need because he's waiting for me outside bye also i rarely wear lipstick i love wearing gloss but today i'm wearing lipstick so good luck to you if you're watching this video and actually seeing kim with the lipstick bye <laughs> This is your second time on my channel. Uh -huh, uh -huh, sorry, we are sorry. Come the balcony. Me with my handbag. <laughs> I feel like 
necessarily peer pressure is there but i think like it's good peer pressure yeah like let's say for example come on me like of late i've been watching and you lately i yeah. love yeah. love love i'm obsessed with mm-hmm. her content no no i feel like the way she buys designer perfumes mm. her house nani amona nyumba yake like her house is beautiful yes. like her house is beautiful and she doesn't give me any negative pressure like i get jealous of her i feel like she motivates me and she was harder. part as she said part of your youtube black voices yes. like she motivates me i feel like if she can do it i can actually also do it so she gives me positive pressure mm. actually not negative mm. Come on, Ngong Road next year. Mm-hmm. Hey. Just 
Tumia? Mwambie, atumie Red Hill. After Red Hill market branch mwingie Red Hill. Let's tumia ile atao. Sawa. Most of them are at Red Hill. No, they atumie the long way. They are to Lipishe. Tebuni anga. So guys, we are done filming with Nora. Sichi kama mnanisikia vizuri, but we are done filming with Nora. We are we are on our way to Creek Lounge to gonna Absa. Yeah, so we are going to meet up with Zara and the girls to have fun. I'll vlog a bit, not too much, since the club obviously you know I can't vlog too much, copyright issues. Then afterwards I think sit up vlog tenner. I don't know when you guys will see me next, but Mtania not when you see me. So see you once you get to click lounge. Baby, I heard you. I'm here to serve you. It's love you need to give it is my joy. All I wanna do. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I, I uh, today is Tuesday. The last time you guys actually saw me was on Sunday. Not Sunday, Saturday. I don't know what I'm saying on Sunday. The last time you guys saw me was on Saturday when Nora and I were shooting uh content for her channel and then we went to Zara's hosting at Click Launch. So that was the last day I actually vlogged. Today is Tuesday. Uh Sunday I didn't vlog anything on Sunday, then Monday Jana. Uh I also didn't vlog anything because I was actually not doing anything. I was resting because I had a tiresome in class week. So today I was actually supposed to go see my fundi yesterday, but since I was tired, I was not able to. As I went to see my fundi today, I wanted to get my bed and my couch made, but Simnajua Mamboza fundi, and this is my first time actually working with this specific fundi. Actually, this is my first time working with a fundi like on my own, Mimi Kutengenezi or anything of my own. So I was like, Akuna Aja, like I pay for both. And I'm not sure about the quality of his work, but ni miangalia like the things that he's actually made zinaka vizuri. So I'm praying and hoping that things actually work out and my bed comes out perfectly the way I want it to. Ju, from the photos, uh, Niliona, they looked good and I was at the shop, like I went to the physical shop today because the shop is ikoku around where my boyfriend stays. So I to let me go to the shop physically because I didn't want to order online and then not get what I ordered you get. So I went there. Niombeni two things work out because I hear a lot of stories about fundis na staki kusumbuana na yeye because I've already paid. So I've paid deposit. I'm not supposed to pay like the full amount. So I've paid deposit for the bed. Then the other one I think Ntalipa uh, when I'm going to pick up when they're actually think when they're bringing it because I've asked for delivery to where I was staying. And I think I found them a bit not a bit they're actually very affordable compared to the instagram pages that i actually talked to before deciding on this specific one i also found them on instagram actually but nilikuwa na compare prices and i found them 
very affordable na since adi nilikuwa naona like photos of the things they've actually made niliona they look good for the price you know most times you're like ah since they're cheaper they are nini their products are not actually of good quality but when i went to the shop they look so good like the pictures don't even do the items justice i was even telling the lady that was at the shop the photos on instagram don't do them justice like they are products actually look so good i did like i, I did nikio call like i had decided i'm only getting my bed made kwanza i see their work then maybe decide if i also get my couch made at the same time but when i got to the shop they look on his couch like those things are beautiful hopefully too i get i get my items looking good as good as i saw them nikio uko if not nakwambia i'm going to be so vexed if not So hopefully things work out you guys will see my bed so obviously if you're watching this yes welcome to my moving vlog i'm officially moving out of my parents house and into my own apartment i'm so, guys i saying i'm excited is an understatement like i've been waiting for this moment for the longest time in my life and i actually can't believe that it's actually happening so yeah so the cat is now out of the bag and i found the cute the smallest cutest apartment that was made specifically for me I, i feel like when god was creating my house he was just thinking about me like he had me in mind alikuwa anajiambia this this is for my daughter kim like god knew i would love that house like guys i'm in love with that house and, I, and now I'm, almost everyone is telling me like it's the kitchen is too small the nini is too nini the what is what the price the nini the nini i'm actually not listening to anyone because i feel like god actually made me choose that specific apartment and that is where i want to live and that is where i'm going to live and actually the main reason why I've, i had not even moved out earlier is because the building complex that i w- actually want to move into was not complete so i had to wait because adi actually i already paid my deposit and rent Ata before my house was completed junili lipia then so i was just waiting for them to finish and move it actually i decide like when we are talking now it's not completely finished ni finishing touches in mebaki but i saw the house guys the house is so beautiful i promise you that house is so beautiful even though it's a bit small but it's so beautiful adi the fact that it's small i'm going to overlook the fact that it's small me na itaka to like the way it is it's so perfect for me like you guys will understand once you actually see it i'm not too sure whether i'm going to do an empty apartment tour been debating on whether i should do it or not because i feel like i'm actually going to give you guys parts of my life that i want to be for me only but i also feel like i show i show you guys nearly everything so what's holding me back from actually showing you my empty apartment tour So I'll decide on that with time. Uh tomorrow is my official moving day. I don't know if I'm going to move in tomorrow or ma Thursday because I'm I've still not gone home. I've still not packed my things. I'm still at my boyfriend's place so I don't know when I'm going home. I think maybe niende kesho ni pack because I also want to undo my hair. Like there's a lot I need to do. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited guys like I literally have my own place right now. Like I have somewhere I call my house, my home. Yes, I have my home, I have my parents' home, but like this this one is mine. Like it's mine like I'm literally moving from home. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but hopefully praying for bigger and better. May God bless this new chapter of my life. May God bless my house. May God bless everything that I touch. May everything that I touch turn into gold. May I be blessed in this new chapter. May I bring blessings upon those who surround me and those who surround me also bring me blessings in return. I just hope that I carry out God's plan in my life as I'm moving to this new chapter of my life. Uh I pray that I'm able to accomplish all my goals. I pray that I don't have any problems as I'm transitioning into this new chapter in my life. Obviously there'll be problems, but I just hope that I just hope and pray that God gives me the strength to actually move forward even with the problems and the obstacles that may pop up, but I'm so excited. Uh and one thing I know for sure this is going to be my year. I promise you. And you guys will see obviously you'll see by the end of the year I want to give out so many testimonies and say that 
I actually walked with God this year. I want to be behind him. Like everything I do, I want it to be God written. Like whenever you see me, you feel God's presence in your life. That's all I'm asking for this whole year. I just want to be happy. I want to be blessed. I want my life to be abandoned this year. And I pay get more, 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 more and more money so I can be able to furnish my house first. But I'm actually okay living in it as it is with no furniture. Like I'm so happy. Like I'm not even thinking about furnishing, and I'm also happy that at least I've worked so much this past two months and I'm actually able to bring my dream to life. If that makes sense. Did you come Kizungi Mingiana? But yeah, uh, and I'm also so happy that I worked so hard and I, and, and I was able to buy a few things and I'm also able to buy a few more things now with the money that I've been saving. So I hope things actually work out. I'm going to take you guys through every step of this transformation, me actually moving. And yeah, so wait for my house, wait for my empty apartment tour. But hopefully I do it. And yeah, uh, you guys will see me during the official move day. I don't know who's going to move. I was talking to my mom because I don't, I, I'm not even moving a lot of things since this is my first time moving out. So I literally don't have anything. I only have my clothes. That's so even makeup, shoes, wigs. I did see a lot. And so even skincare, like even my two little products and my clothes. Those are the only things that I'm actually taking with me from home. And also my mom was so kind enough to actually give me curtains. So I may save on that cost. And then Kama Shears, she's going to go buy them for me. Like I was about to go buy my curtains and my shears from somewhere. And she's like, no, it's only poor quality. Don't go buy them. Zitaribika after one wash. Uh, so I just asked her to actually do it for me. Akasema chani pair curtains. Then she asked her she'll go buy for me. So I'm so excited. I'm so grateful for my mom. I know this is going to be so hard for her because imagine me being the last born and I'm actually moving out. I don't want to cry. So I was saying, uh, I know it's kind of hard for her to actually let go of me because I'm the last born. But I'll always be going back home. <laughs> Every single week, I'll have to go back home. I have to go back home because I, I love my mom's cooking. Like, I have to go back home and eat. Like, I'm just, but I'm so happy. I have a space where I can. The main reason why I'm actually moving out is for content only. I think that's the main reason. Now also to have like a safe space when I want to be alone. But Atakwetu is a safe space for me. But that ends like I want to be alone in my thoughts, feeling my emotions. So that is what my house is going to actually give to me. But I'm so excited for this new chapter. If you're watching this, please say a little prayer for me so that everything actually works out well. But I know everything is going to work, to work out well because I feel like God made this decision for me. I was actually supposed to move out a long time ago, last year, around October. The first time I actually deactivated my accounts and yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. That was the time I was actually supposed to move out. But things happened and things continued happening and things happened like a lot happened. I can't even speak on it, but I'm grateful like we've moved past that as a family. So now, yeah, now I'm able to move out. And I'm so happy because I feel like if I had actually moved out during that time, I would not have gotten this specific house because the house I was actually looking at, looking at then, it was also a nice house, but not nicer than this one obviously but it was a nice house but it was not as nice as my current house is so that's one thing i'm really grateful for and honestly when the bible says when the time is right i the lord will make it happen god really means it because i feel like this was the right time for me to move it's perfect for me i showed my mom my house let me tell you a little story so i showed my mom my house and then she was like hmm indo indo nyumba una move out for this amount of money this is the house that you're going to be paying then i'm like eh, this is that and then my mom was like mm, i feel like it's too small for that amount i feel like my mom likes complaining but i love her anyway so she's like i feel like and i told her mm -hmm, you're the small house I didn't, but then i told my mom i'm not paying i'm not paying that amount of money 
for the size of the house. I'm paying that for the aesthetics of the house. That is why I'm actually moving out. Ni aesthetics ya your nyumba. Daddy me fanya like I actually want to move that because the, my house is so 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 far away from home, so far away from my boyfriend's place. Like I'm literally in the other side of this town. Ukwadini wapi? It's not even Nairobi. And the only reason I'm actually moving there, it's not that I wanted to move out of Nairobi. It's just that I wanted I wanted a pretty house. But then I mean you can a pretty house. I'm sorry. So I just wanna let's dream. I just wanna let's just team like when I was choosing out my house, I'm sorry, but I was only looking at the aesthetics and how beautiful my house is going to be with me in it. Like I was just picturing how am I going to look inside this house? Magis, Ristimas, relocations, Jinini. I didn't even care. Like I was willing to move out to the other side of the world as long as the house is beautiful enough. And I got that in my house. So yeah, like I've been talking for so long, but I just want you guys to know that I'm grateful. And to everyone who is telling me it's going to happen for you, it's going to happen for you, it's going to happen for you. It's finally happening for me. And thank you guys for always believing in me. Thank you guys for watching my content. Like you guys actually make me pay my bills. Now that I'm about to start paying my bills, just going to leave my bills, obviously. As hectic as I'm going to be doing now. So yeah, so I'm so excited. And yeah, welcome to Moving Vlog part one i don't know how many parts they're going to be but yeah so welcome to my vlog Mwah. so you guys will see me when i'm actually moving tomorrow i'm at the day after tomorrow that's when i vlog i'm not going to continue vlogging again today so i'm closing out this vlog for a while also i'm going to insert scenes of me when i was house hunting uh at first uh, i found it i think in december I felt it was too expensive for me. So, Nika Igno, I continued looking. Then in January, I was like, whatever I want, I want and I'm going to get it. So, I decided, yeah, I'm going to get that house. It's expensive. Sour. No problem. I can afford it. I can afford to pay for it. So, I decided I'm going to actually go get the house. So, Nika, I, I contacted them. Then I went to see the house. I'm going to insert clips of me when I went to see my house when I was signing my lease. So, yeah, I'm officially an apartment renter. Is that what they say? But, yeah. So, I've already signed my lease. So, yeah, the house belongs to me now. Like, it's partly mine. Ama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hopefully, welcome to this new chapter of my life. Yeah, so welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what this vlog is going to be. I don't know when, when I'm going to actually post this vlog. But yeah, so I'm with Apsa and we are house hunting. Actually, we're not even house hunting. I found a house that I really, really want. I decided that is the house I wanted. So today, we've to Mekuja viewing and we've seen the house. We've actually just seen my dream house. Like I think this house was specifically made for me. Like Mungwa Kitangin Akifanya Tangazenuma. He had me in mind. Like it's mind blowing. I don't even want to say beautiful. That house is beyond beautiful, guys. Like I'm obsessed. So I'm so happy. <laughs> I didn't know that yeah. But we're saving the age. Friend. Yeah, that house is double and no, that, house is really beautiful. Beautiful. that house is beautiful guys i found my dream house like god took his time with my house he took his time with this house he made it specifically for me like imagine when kim moves into this house. like guys I can't believe this is my first apartment, like my own, my very own, my first apartment is this beautiful. So I appeal it When I move out of here, it end our happy. Anyways, to bigger and better. Like I'm so happy. You guys will see a house tour soon, obviously. But after a while, after I take my time, I feel the house. So yeah, so I'm so happy and so glad. I've I'm, I finally have a house. I finally have my own house. So yeah, that's the one you share, obviously, and when I'm doing the house tour. So I'm just finalizing. I'm not moving in yet. But I'm going to finalize the details. We are at the office. So I'm going to finalize the details, but I'm going to move inside. And I need to do what I need to do. They also need to do the finishing touches. And yeah, but I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed, guys. I'm so blessed. And to think I was having a bad day, Nikiamka. 
and class also Jana but I'm so blessed. Thank you God. I'm I'm so grateful. You're feeling yourself? Of course. Place of work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work in an office in organization. I'm an influencer. I'm an influencer. I'm influencer. I'm an I'm a big girl now. <laughs> Time for bad bitch moves. <laughs> Hi guys, remember you're not sure to be with it. This one, kids are not going 